my name is Chansey and today we're going to Phoenix Central Park. I would describe my music in a broader sense, maybe it could be electronic pop music, but it seems to be more reactive and responsive to uh, where I'm at in my life and maybe who I'm performing with and uh, with all different groups, whether it might be techno or maybe more guitar based. It seems to just change week by week. I was very excited when Happy Mag asked me to be part of Somewhere Sounds because I'm a big fan of the series. I love any opportunity to make a sample pack and to explore Sydney. It's a very exciting thing, so I just felt very grateful to be a part of the series. Oh, My relationship with Phoenix Central Park, I guess, started during the pandemic. I performed with an artist, the Die Youngs, and he was living across the road from Phoenix Central Park at the time, and he saw it open and he said, man, you got to check out this venue. And we were like, yeah, one day we're going to perform there. And then I got an email from Josh from Phoenix Central Park about maybe doing a Janty show there. And then two weeks ago, we got to perform that Janty show and it was a dream come true. And it also portrays the sounds of Sydney as well, which um, I find uh, most new bands I'm coming to see are at Phoenix Central Park. So I thought it really represented the sound of Sydney at the moment. Today we are recording the samples with a shotgun mic and a zoom field recorder. Some of the challenges of recording samples in this environment include being respectful to the space. Um, there's a lot of artwork in the space and the space itself feels like an artwork. I find Phoenix Central Park so inspiring because I've been seeing so many new up and coming inspiring acts. And I feel like it's provided a space where artists can be really intimate and show a, a more inner working of themselves besides playing like at a party where everyone needs to just like get up and dance. You really connect with the artists and their vision when you go see a performance at Phoenix Central Park. Almost feels like, you know, it's a prestigious place like the Grand Ole Opry or the Sydney Opera House or something like that. It's just a, it feels good to see artists there and feels good to play there. Some raw sounds I expect to capture are the sounds of the architecture. I know there's a lot of like hidden places uh, and elevators and in the car park. I know there's all interesting uh, switches. I know they have a great Fazioli piano there. I'd love to record that. And um, I noticed uh, once I was there, there was like almost like a chair that almost seemed like a harp. Uh, and you sit in the chair and then you play the harp on the side of the chair. I hope to find that instrument and record that. Off the bat, I can hear a lot of percussion sounds with the mechanical sounds of the building. We'll provide a good opportunity to create uh, instruments and multi-sample sounds from the piano and hopefully all the halls with the reverbs and maybe singing and capturing the voice with the reverb and creating like multi-samples. I think there'll be good melodic opportunities as well as rhythmic opportunities. I use a lot of found sounds in my work, um, most particularly in the earlier work um, on the first record I did called 12 Giga, it was almost all the percussion was found sounds and anything that could make a sound would make it into the rhythm track. And recently I've been getting back into it more. When we get back to the studio I hope to pass the sounds maybe through some analog synths, maybe through this telmark and maybe pass it through the analog filters and a notch filter, get some interesting sounds, make it come alive that way maybe some of the percussion through a 12-bit sampler like this S2400 and um, get some like gritty sounds, some early hip-hop digital distortion and uh, just see what interesting things come up that way. Or maybe making some Ableton uh, multi-samples from the melodic sounds. The genre of the sample pack and the demo beat uh, will probably be determined when we come back and uh, just load it into the sampler and, and just experiment, see what a BPM they want to be in. More often than not, it's a, probably a 94 BPM hip hop tempo, probably my most favorite, but uh, you just never, really never know until it gets going and maybe we'll pick out a record and that will determine what headspace we'll be in. But I guess we'll see when we come back. And my music making journey began when I moved from South Africa to Australia. I was more of a visual artist in South Africa, but once I moved to Australia, I found audio more interesting. Uh, and then it just kind of uh, spiraled from there, started joining bands and moving all over the place and playing music and just haven't left that world. But I think no matter what medium I was doing, it was always exploring uh, escapism and uh, maybe the psychedelic world of art. 
At the moment, I'm currently working on a new Janti record, as well as a new group called Mystics with John Omar from Jaguar and the visual artist Babe Cool. Uh, so just those projects, and I'm also performing with Genesis Awusu and his band. My dream project would be recording an album with a group of people in a big studio, maybe the same way they did Can Records or Beach Boys Records, even Yes Records, and uh, just have a bunch of people in a playing together, really utilizing the space and outside of the home studio environment. But what's exciting me at the moment is this renaissance of venues opening up again and uh, having a place to see new bands perform and have this renewed sense of creative community. Thanks to Happy Mag for having me and I hope you enjoy the Somewhere Sound sample pack.